Hey, Dream Drivers, welcome to episode 291 of the Dreams and Drive podcast. And this is a special episode today, guys. We're going to be talking about six years of Dreams and Drive. We're celebrating Dreams and Drive's six year anniversary. Um, I really want this to just be an episode about reflection, about celebration, and also talking about, all right, what's our 2022 action plan looking like? What's on the 2022 Dream Driving GPS? What directions am I going to be plugging in? What's the vision for this year? I want to reflect and share that with you all. So tune in, put your seatbelt on, and let's get ready to get in the driver's seat. Before we start chit-chatting, though, remember, if this is your first time listening, welcome to the show. Make sure that you're subscribed wherever you're listening so that you get notifications every time we have a new episode. And also remember to be sharing this episode with your community. The best way and the easiest way to share is to repost to Instagram stories, uh, social media, wherever you are. Just share that you're listening to Six Years of Dreams and Drive and maybe share what this episode means to you or what your favorite Dreams and Drive memory has been over the years. I definitely go in and engage and repost. So I am looking forward to seeing all that you guys and all that you have to share with our community. All right. So thinking about, you know, six years of dreams and drive, as you know, like these past two years have been crazy for all of us. Besides, you know, navigating this global pandemic that we've all been part of, um, navigating new motherhood, navigating new job, professional, personal goals. There's a lot that I really have done in 2020. And it really does seem like a blur now that I'm looking back on it, it's like, damn, like I really made it through 2021. And I don't, not necessarily saying that I didn't think I would be here, but I remember in the beginning of 2021 being still, you know, three months postpartum in this haze, not really knowing myself, not really feeling my, like, not like myself, not really feeling as confident I was as I was before. And I'm not saying that I'm fully confident now. I think that, you know, with each year of motherhood, each year as a new person, you know, I turned 30 in 2021. You just start to accept who you are and you ex- you start to just say, all right, I'm either going to let life happen to me or I'm going to make life happen, right? And I knew that I couldn't just sit around. And I think for the end of the year, mostly, it was like me saying, all right, girl, you have goals, you have dreams. You are more than just Axel's mom. You are more than just whatever this is. You can go after everything that you wanted. And so that was really like my big thing. I think 2021 for me was a year of getting into a flow, not being too hard on myself, but also really tackling these big goals that I had for myself. So I'm super proud of where I am today. And I'm super proud of everything that is to come for the podcast in 2022. I will say, I think this has been another chill year for Dreams and Drive. We did publish episodes um, weekly. I think we did some cool things in 2021, actually. We had some uh, repeat guests like Courtney Fudge came back on the show, Philomena Kane, Mackenzie Dawkins. And we had some new people on the show as well that I really enjoyed chatting with, like Zay Carter. That was another great episode. Denise Woods, a vocal coach. We had Kimberly B. Cummings, who talked about making your next career move your best move. And then some of my faves, like Amelia Ortiz, we talked about new motherhood during a global pandemic, and Data Bolden, who is an influencer that I loved. And I also got to talk to some dream drivers that I personally know, like Jessica Emerson, we talked about how to find your true calling and stick with the journey, Atia McDaniels. And then towards the end of the year, I did some replays of episodes that I loved. I realized I need to work smarter, not harder. And, you know, the end of the year was a little bit tough for me. So I said, okay, Raina, instead of like really being hard on yourself, you have so much content. You have five years of content. Let's replay some of these episodes that really meant a lot to you. So I had like Nate Bagley replay that episode about how to transform your personal relationships. And we brought back two of my faves, Pinky Cole and Jennifer Lewis. So hopefully that was a great way to end out 2021 for you all. Um, I think one of the biggest wows thinking about Dreams and Drive is just how much It continues to be like my safe space and it continues to be a place that provides me blessings in ways that I don't even know. Right. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but let's, let's really talk about some of the lessons learned. I want to share with you guys a quote from my Instagram stories that I, um, want to, I, I, I posted a picture of me working on, well, you, you wouldn't know it from the picture, but it was really me working on, um, a project with a, with a past guest that we're not going to talk about the project 
yet, but I can read to you what, what, you know, the, the caption was. And it was, accomplish a huge goal this month and realize the secret sauce was this. Do not be afraid of disappointment and rejection. Things will not always go right. You will not always like the process, but perseverance is key. Every time rejection falls in your lap, take some time to do some reflection and tweaking to the game plan. Pivot if you need to, but don't give up. That pot of gold is waiting for you. Trust me. That pot of gold is waiting for you. Trust me. That has been like, I think the thing that I've been really holding on to throughout these new periods of life for me, right? That pot of gold is waiting for you, right? I like the idea of not being afraid of disappointment and rejection when thinking about where we're going for 2022, right? It's very, very important that we think ahead, but we do not fear what we cannot control. And I'm taking that as a 2022 action plan because in 2021, there I experienced a lot of rejection and working on a goal of mine. And I just felt like giving up a lot of times, right? Like I'm talking about really just saying like, what, what is wrong with me? Why is this not happening? And I realized when it's your time, it will be your time. And I know that sounds very cliche and sometimes it doesn't feel like that's what you want to hear, but disappointment and rejection, they, there are all things that you can learn. Every time you may quote unquote fail, every time people may say no to you, there's, that just means there's another way to get a yes. And you have to maybe rethink what yes looks like. You may have to rethink what you did to get that original no and how you can move differently so that you can get that yes that you want, but it doesn't have to be your final anything, right? Disappointment and rejection are not final things. They're not final states. You do not have to accept it and you do not have to be afraid of it. It will happen though. And it's really just about saying, all right, processing, I'm in, and I'm in the state of rejection or I am currently, you know, working through some disappointment, but am I going to let that be what is written on my grave, my gravestone, my tombstone? No. Right. And then moving along to And then moving along from there, silver linings during transition periods. 2021 and potentially 2022 is going to be a major transition period for me. Major, major, major. I've found sometimes that you have to think about what are the blessings that can come out of disappointment. And I'm going to share with you, like, I remember in the middle of the year thinking about, all right, I, I really do need to have a stable income. I know that I quit this job two years ago or three years ago to pursue dreams and drive full time and it might not be working out for me. I remember I applied or a recruiter reached out to me for a job at this big media company and I'm like, okay, I think I got this. I got this. I had multiple interviews. I was doing interviews with Axel, you know, strapped to me and then I didn't get the position. I think they were like, they decided not no longer to hire for it anymore. But you know what's funny? When Amira Anabudu reached out to me, she's a past dreams and drive guest and told me about they were hiring at Viacom, a CBS, and she thought I'd be great for the role. I had experience interviewing for media already, right? And if I had never had had that experience, maybe I wouldn't have gotten this job. I realized there were things I couldn't say. I learned some new keywords. I had practiced doing a mock presentation. There was a lot that I learned from that first process that seemed to be a disappointment that I then transferred to this new pro- this new process and I got the job. So my silver lining was, all right, disappointment at the first attempt doesn't always mean disappointment at the second attempt. So thinking about 2022, there may be things that may not look good, that may not work out at first, but that does not mean that they may not work out the second time or the third time. So you have to give your room yourself room to fail and yourself room to get up and thrive after those feelings. I'm telling you, it's so, so important, guys. So, so important. Um, And it also is a reminder that your gift will make a way for you. I say this a lot. Do not ever forget about what your true gift is and what's that thing that you're building and the power that comes from your gift. So what are you dreaming of? Adventure, more family time, a change of scenery? The nerds at NerdWallet can help you take the first step towards making your dream a reality. 
Nerd Wallet is a personal finance site run by money nerds who make it easy to compare and find the smartest financial products for you. So let's say you want to book an adventure beyond your backyard. Nerd Wallet can help you compare and find travel rewards credit cards so that you can use everyday purchases to rack up on points for flights, hotels, and more. Or maybe you want to spend more quality time with your fam as dream drivers, that's important. Nerd Wallet can help you compare and find financial advisors so you can find less time watching investments and more time with the kids. They've got tools, calculators, and side-by-side comparisons to help you find the smartest products for you so you can turn your dreams into reality. Personally, my 2022 goal is scaling dreams and drives so I can use NerdWallet to compare hundreds of the top credit cards and investing accounts. NerdWallet makes that super easy. Are you ready to compare your way there? Compare and find the smartest credit cards, investing accounts, and more at nerdwallet.com. NerdWallet Compare Incorporated, NMLS 1617539. NerdWallet is not an investment advisor nor an investment broker. Information is for educational purposes only. Welcome to an aha moment along your dream driving journey. This aha episode of Dreams and Drive is brought to you by aha. Before you ask, what are you talking about? Please allow me to explain. Our partner for today is AHA Sparkling Water, and I want to tell you a little bit more about the brand, but we're going to be using some of these AHA moments along the way to help you understand. AHA is a bold sparkling water with a two-in-one flahaver combination in every kahan. So some of your flavor combinations can include blueberry and pomegranate, lime and watermelon, or peach and honey. That peach and honey does sound good because I definitely love those two flavors and some flavors like mahango and black tea are even caffeinated with caffeine look for aha a anywhere you buy sparkling water and get your hands on some today you'll probably wonder how you ever lived without it and I know it sounds too good to be true but it's not there is a good chance that you'll never want to drink any other sparkling water ever again Aha, sparkling water. Can I get a aha? Because to be honest, like I was so caught up in 2021 for a lot of the time just trying to navigate life that I forgot I had this thing I've been building, Dreams and Drive. And look, Dreams and Drive turned out to be the thing that got me that job that I needed at the time to make sure I was stable enough for my family and my son, you know, for myself, my mental health. Like I needed this job to really stabilize me across the board. And there were so many great things that came from it. A community of people working in media, you know, I have coworkers who are also also mothers. So there is definitely something that realize your gift will make a way for you, but do not ever like cast it aside. There may be times you can't a hundred percent fully focus on it, but it's always going to be there because it's meant for you. All right. What is meant for you is meant for you. What you have built is a part of your purpose, your divine alignment, whatever you believe in. I'm telling you, if you continue to water it in some way, daily, monthly, weekly, but you just don't forget about it, it's going to come back and it's going to be that thing that will always kind of be like what you got in your back pocket. Like if all else fails, your gift will always be there. So take some time to nourish it. All right. Something else that I really learned in 2021 and, you know, thinking about how I'm now six years into the podcast is your tribe and community want you to win. There are people out there who are rooting for your success. I think a lot of times, you know, our culture is rooted in who are the haters, people are not caring about me. Like, nah, don't don't even think about, don't focus on the people who are not there. Focus on the people who are there and who are willing to really, really make sure that you are winning, that you are really setting yourself up for success. I'm going to tell you, there were times where, like, I was really down and just logging into the Dreams and Drive Instagram, which I will say I kind of, you know, neglected at times this year. And I had people posting about the show. I had, like, my day one listeners, my day one dream drivers who continued to post, who continued to share how episodes I was putting out impacted them. And then I realized, yo, like, there really are people who love this, people who are really, like, rooting for me, people who are my cheerleaders who may have never met me in person or who have met me in person who continue to really benefit from from the show. And that's really helped push me forward during times where I was down. And it really helped solidify the purpose of the show, which really is motivating and, and making sure that people are getting that 
the stories from our guests and the stories from these, you know, one-on-one episodes about what it really means to put a dream into motion so that they are encouraged that they can do the same. And I thank you if at any point during 2021, you were a light or encouragement to me. I really needed that. I needed, I needed you all just as much you may have needed me. If we've never met, I really do appreciate all the love that you pour in, even just by listening to the show every week so that I can continue to have this as an outlet and as a way to provide, as a way to build a business. Like I'm still learning on a lot of those fronts, but I just have to say like to the tribe and community who really wants Dreams and Drive to thrive, to continue to grow, I see you, I hear you, I appreciate you, and thank you so much, right? And that's where... I'm going to say, you know, the hard work pays off. Perseverance is going to be key in 2022, right? We we are all going through something. This pandemic has not been easier in anyone. And if it has, good for you. But if it hasn't, like there's a lot of ways we've all been tested. We've all been tried. And I know that just by goals that I've been able to accomplish, like the, there's joy and discomfort. And I say that meaning like joy, joy can come from discomfort. I had to really be uncomfortable a lot of times, especially towards the end of the year to smash some goals that I'm working on that I'll tell you guys later about, you know, when, when I'm ready to announce it. But like, if I wasn't uncomfortable, if I didn't spend some time, you know, in front of my computer, like legit with tears in my eyes saying, all right, yo, I really want my future to be different. So I'm going to have to do some hard work. And sometimes hard work doesn't really have to mean like hard as in it's hard to do, but hard because it means you have to face trauma. You have to face things that you have not faced. You have to, uh, you know, really be willing with not knowing what the future is going to look like. And for me, that was really, really like I, I was going through a lot of big changes. And so that's why I'm saying like, the hard work will pay off. Whatever whatever kind of strut you're in right now where you're just putting in time, putting in effort, make sure you do take some time out for self-care, but don't be afraid of putting in that hard work because I'm telling you it's going to really, really um, pay off. And that's how I know for me, like 2020, 2020, 20, look, I can't even say the word, 2022 is will be a year of major first for me. Major first. I am committed. Like I thought about, like I want to say the heydays of dreams and drive 2017, 2018, when I was out here pounding the pavement, like I was out here, like really doing a lot with dreams and drive. And I want to get back to that point where, you know, our viewership is list is, is increasing more sponsors. I'm so thankful for the agency we work with now to get the amazing sponsors that we have on the show. But like, I want to grow and I want to think bigger and I want to make sure that I am not diminishing my talent for anyone. So I'm going to have to be doing things I've never done before. And that's very scary. But like, like I said in the beginning, right? You cannot be afraid of that. You cannot be afraid of potential rejection, potential failure. If you never fail, you've never tried. You might fail, but at least you tried. And there's always, you can always bounce back from a failure, right? You can always bounce back from a failure. So that's something that I'm thinking about. Like, I know like yesterday I sat down, I may be late too, right? But listen, the only timeline that exists is yours, right? I I was really thinking about, all right, girl, we got to rethink. One of my big goals 2022 is a team. Like I know I cannot do it on my own. So if you're somebody who is listening right now and you think you have a way that you can help dreams and drive grow reach out to me reina at dreams and i'm looking for social media you know help i'm looking for podcast editing help marketing sales i want to build my team and i don't want to be operating from a place of fear anymore and so that's that's anybody who's grown a business anybody on the show has said like building a team was pivotal to them going to the next step and i really do feel like i've been on step four or five for a while now and I'm ready to step up to step eight so what do i have to do to get there so that's another big goal that i'm working on and i'm gonna be transparent with you like it's not gonna be easy because it's something that's gonna mean i have to let go of some control and when you're like been doing it for by yourself for so long You've just become so ingrained with, all right, I could do this like this. I could do this like this, but not knowing that it doesn't have to be like that. Pushing forward, right? Thinking about 2022 and having reached six years, pushing forward is 
Pushing forward is my like 2022 GPS destination. I don't necessarily have a specific goal, a specific milestone, but I know that I want to continue to move the needle. I want to continue to bring on amazing guests, bigger guests, like people. I want dreams and drive. And I'm saying this proudly. Like I remember when I first thought of dreams and drive, I said I wanted to be the Nike of inspiration. You know how you have, you think of Nike and you think of just do it. Um, And I think I've been playing small for a while. I think I've been playing in a comfort zone. I've been playing with what I know. I've been playing with the potential of this. And I'm just tired of it. Like, I see my son every day wake up and learn something new and grow. And I think now, I I think I said this before to myself. Like, I didn't think when I first had my kid, I had that, oh, my gosh, I got to do it for him moment. But now I'm just thinking about the life that I want to provide and what I want to instill in him and to me. Really making sure dreams and drive becomes all that it can be can be one of the greatest lessons that I can have for him as well, because I think he'll see that, yo, my mom did this and she left me something that whatever it is that I want to do, I can do as well. So pushing forward is what's on my GPS for 2022. I want to push forward personally, professionally, or on all levels of the podcast. I want to elevate in all levels and it's going to take a lot of being truthful about what that means, right? Uh, I want to experiment more. Part of my creativeness, like I love writing. I love poetry. I love abstract thinking. I love movies. You know, I want to put myself out there creatively more and not think so much about like the the algorithm or think so much about like, is this going to get views? Like I really want to just create and see what happens because I think sometimes when you do things for the purpose of it being a hit, it takes away from the intention. So I want to be intentional, but I also want to be intentional with results as well. So just playing around with all of that stuff. I know this may really seem like um, a freestyle, but it kind of is. I know you guys are probably thinking, Raina, don't give up on your interviews. We miss having these fresh interviews. We miss having a perspective. We miss having these guests really share intimate parts of their story. And that's going to come back, right? Like That's going to always be here. But I know that I have to be back on a schedule, back to doing the things before that showed results. So I'm committed to that in 2022. We have an awesome lineup of guests, actually. And the first guest that you'll hear from next week is Ronnie Brown. I think this is going to be a good episode for us to start the new year with, to really just dive into what our mindset is and what we have to do if we really want to make a change in our lives. So that's going to be episode 292. Uh, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Over these past six years, every year I feel like I make the anniversary episode less special. I remember the beginning, I want to say the second year anniversary or third year anniversary, I had people like emailing, like things that I added, like their own experiences, uh, audio bites, sound bites to the show, and that was part of it. But, you know, I think maybe a 10 year anniversary will, will have a big splash. Uh, you know, it's funny too, now that I'm thinking about it, I also do want to make sure that I'm celebrating more. I think when you're taking care of other people, when you're just like in survival mode, which my friend Joy of Therapy for Black Girls, Dr. Joy, she's like, you don't forget a lot of us have been operating in survival mode and that's tough, right? Like I don't want to be operating in survival survival mode anymore. I want to be living. I want to be dream driving freely. I want to be sharing with you all that there is to be shared. So there's a lot that we have in store for 2022. So make sure that you're rocking with us, right? If you enjoyed this episode, share it with your community, screenshot it. We're Dreams and Drive on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can use the hashtag Dreams and Drive as well. Make sure that you're subscribed wherever you're listening. Hit that subscribe button so that you get notifications every time we have a new episode. And if you want to be part of our weekly online newsletter, The Keys, and get weekly updates from me, just go to dreamsanddrive.com com slash join that's dreams and drive.com slash join i really do appreciate that guys so as always i keep saying this and i'll keep saying it again happy six years to dreams and drive keep dreaming keep driving and we'll chat again in episode 292 bye guys